Hopefully you have already seen how for Halloween 1914, six spirits were already haunting Castle Brichahuta, so the current owner, Miss Hermione G. Wells, was attempting to hold a special seance with her friends to discover how to send the spirits away to rest in peace. However, since the webmistress was summoned from the beyond by the ectoplasm-powered spirit materializer device, technically there were seven spirits that needed to be identified by their full true names to win the Supreme Spirit Savant Award for the Studying Spirits Party Quiz. The tasty tombstone cookies included all seven names, which was a good start, but it wasn't obvious which gravestone went with which ghost. Four of the spirits were easy to identify, since their portraits had their names engraved on the frames in English. Between posing and playing her beloved piano, Queen Ergolese every so often went looking for her sister, Princess Serena, who would rather have been back on her ship commanding her crew in the Verdigree Navy. Have you seen my sister? Wise Queen Sova gave advice to people passing by, hushing her pet owls when they hooted. I see you avoid the shadows, but the light does not reveal all truth. And Queen Mary couldn't resist her tasty home-brewed meat or wine. either in her portrait <laughs> or as a spirit haunting a jar sitting above two books she had written as Merezanine Verdigree, using spirits to elevate the spirit, better poetry through mead, and merriment in a bottle, fermenting grapes for fun and profit. Most guests found those four portraits easy to match visually to their respective ghosts, playing the pipe organ, sword fighting in the tower, drowning in the wishing well, and giggling in the jar. However, not only was the pumpkin queen teased behind her back by tipsy Queen Mary, but her portrait had no nameplate at all. Luckily, not only was there a tasty tombstone cookie naming Queen Dynia of Verdigree, but by the living room window there was a table decorated with pumpkins that displayed an ancient illuminated manuscript telling the tale of why Queen Dynia was called the Pumpkin Queen. If the handwritten black letter script was too difficult to read, there was even an antique magnifying glass handy. The last two spirits were intentionally much trickier, otherwise everyone would be a winner. Welcome to Castle Brichahuta. The first queen's portrait nameplate and her tasty tombstone cookie 
were both engraved in ancient Nordic runes, but wise Queen Sova's cookie epitaph was a Rosetta stone that translated runes into English. The large illuminated manuscript below the portrait had old English hand-lettered script and the caption under the painting that obviously matched the portrait, with her holding the same spear and shield, and with reddish-blonde hair under the same pointed crown. Everyone should have seen this book because Miss Wells told them in the main event to go read the full Fredericke Oath. The iconic five-pointed crown and specific spear shape were able to be seen even from a far distance, so for those who persevered enough, the ghostly guardian reciting the ancient oath high up in the main tower was identified as Brita Hilda Verdrecki, the first queen of Verdigri. Through this amazing contraption you see before you, my resourceful cousin is able to summon me from beyond the grave and bring me to this threshold where I can reach the souls of all who reside within. Living or dead. But what was the true name of the seventh spirit? Interesting. That red jelly looks just like positively charged psychomagnetic residue. Her portrait nameplate only said the webmistress of the dark. If you had kept track of all seven tasty tombstone cookies, there was only one left you hadn't already identified. Plus, the main event mentioned Miss Wells had to be at the site of the gravestone of the webmistress to make the spirit materializer function, and you could see the specific gravestone shape behind Miss Wells that could be matched to the tasty tombstone cookie shape, so either way you could read the full name on that cookie. However, there was also an even easier major clue at eye level in the diagram that explained how the spirit materializer worked, with a sketch of the same gravestone's distinctive shape, and showing the full name, Lady Nemazanine Brita Hilda. By Countess of Verdigree. That's all the clues! Would you have found all of them? We sure had fun designing the mystery of the story of seven spirits! For more details about Halloween 2014, please see all the other videos and see the Halloween section on BritaBoulevard.com. <laughs> Thank you for watching!